Welcome to the Kickstarter Commerce tutorial and in today's tutorial I'm going to be sharing with you how to use cron jobs to create your content and so some of you um, are quite familiar with the tutorial that I did it was a written tutorial on the blog here about how to use PHP um, to create WordPress uh, pages and posts and so some of you were asking about how do you create daily lists um, whereby you actually want it to code in certain things and so um, some of you were able to you know utilize let's see here I'll pull it up real quick so you can actually see the given tutorial so that's one but this is the main one that kind of started everything and led to this and so um, it's about programmatically creating WordPress posts and pages using PHP and so in it we get into, we dive into the details of how to go about actually writing code and content and all that stuff, um, you know, from a, a coding standpoint. And so I actually give code here that, uh, that actually works when we bring it all together. So you could actually copy this, put it into PHP, um, add it to a cron job, but then most of you wanted to know, well, hey, is there a way that we can actually do this without, um, within WordPress without having to, uh, I guess you'd say, get into the the uh, nitty gritty details of a server. So the answer is yes. And so I'm going to show you that by using a local hosted version of WordPress, plain Jane vanilla um, install. So let's go ahead and jump into the dashboard. And so the plugin that I I like using and I think it's the easiest for most people to understand really is um, it's called WP Crontrol so if you go to plugins and add new and there are quite a few um, cron job plugins that WordPress offers uh, but to me WP Crontrol uh, does everything that you know I want it to uh, to do in terms of being able to run scheduled updates within WordPress and so sometimes let's say you wanted to do a deal site that had an expiration or you wanted to uh, do a daily update or have a script run at a certain time um, to perform you know maybe sending an email or uh, updating your website this would be the perfect um, plugin that will allow you to you know do such a thing and so you'll see it here once it installs once we get it activated um, then I'll show you basically what you'll need to do or what you'll need to have access to um, in terms of being able to hopefully and successfully use this plugin so looks like we have encountered some sort of error here and so I am going to refresh the page and let's see here so it said the installation failed um, so let's give it a minute and see see what all is going on all right so let's try this again WP control install now all right so it's successfully installed I'm going to do activate and you can see there was another cron control there um, all right so once it is set up it's activated you can go to tools and you can see it says cron events and then scheduled events and so we're just going to go ahead and go to cron events under tools and it will basically um, now show you, you basically have some tabs up here at the top to say cron events, cron schedules, add cron event, add PHP cron event. And so the cron events are the ones that are scheduled. These are um, the default WordPress one. So, you, I mean, you can see it says uh, WP update plugins um, and it's doing that you know twice on a daily basis same thing for themes there's the action run uh, the action scheduler run queue which that's what goes out to uh, you know check and see well do we have a scheduled post that needs to be posted if so it does 
Now we also get into the cron schedules and these are the ones that you can um, actually go in. So let's say right now there's one that runs every minute, every two minutes, and then this is one for um, media optimization. And so it has its own um, that runs every five minutes, but they have them named accordingly. And so if you wanted one that just says, you know, every five minutes, you could add it in, but it would look something, you know, more like, uh, let's see here. Um, we can just say five minutes and then you know the same thing and so the the display name is there and so you may put something like every five minutes but the internal name may be mine and you don't want um, you don't necessarily want spaces in there you'll either want to use a hyphen or an underscore and then from here you know you can just put whatever the seconds are um, so we know that 300 seconds is five minutes and then you know you can add that cron schedule in and there it is and you can delete that if you want to that being said, the next thing is actually adding a cron event. And so the interesting thing is that you'll need a hook name. And so um, we'll just call this KSC underscore hook. Um, you can add in optional arguments. Basically, they need to be JSON encoded arrays. So, um, you know, it gives you examples here of what you know what it needs to be so if you need to pass things to it then you know you'll need to set what those arguments look like and you can also set the next time it runs you can set it to run now tomorrow and then basically uh, if the time zone there is UTC but it gives you the format the year month day hour minutes seconds and then you can basically say hey I want this to uh, repeat and so if you remember we set up a cron schedule there every five minutes so you can choose that and um, you basically can tell it hey I want it to run I want this to begin tomorrow or like I said you can certainly put what day it is so if we wanted to put it two hours from now we put today's date and then add two hours to whatever the time is there um, also string the time work so you know it'd be a long string of numbers there that it could also do that as well and then so once you add this hook um, what you'll need to be able to do then is basically uh, go to the theme editor because as it says here cron events trigger actions in your code so a cron event needs a corresponding action hook somewhere in the code for example in your functions.php file so if we go over to the theme editor and I didn't save that on purpose um, it'll tell you hey heads up you're about to make some changes um, to your theme so you know if you're not familiar one is you don't want necessarily want to make changes to the primary themes function.php because when it up updates it's going to overwrite your changes so you'll need to get adept at making a child theme which it is pretty easy to do i actually have another tutorial about how to quickly create a child theme so um pay attention what go and watch that tutorial or go and visit kickstartcommerce.com look it up I'll walk you through step by step how to create a child theme but for this example I'm just gonna go ahead and say I understand I take all the, the risk here and what we are going to do is look for the functions file and there it is called theme functions and so at the very end of theme functions we're gonna get all the way to the end here and we are going to add in um, the hook and I'm just I've already copied and pasted some code there and so um, you know basically if you you could say hey I want this to be called um, KSC underscore hook but it's going to call 
my cron job underscore or my underscore cron job underscore action which is the function that you see above it and then inside it you would write your code um, that you want executed in that and so you would just update and save that I'm not just because of um, I'm not running any code in this example so if we go back so let's say we did save that and that was ksc underscore hook then what we would do is go back into our cron events yep I know I didn't save it and under the cron event we would then basically type in the ksc hook and you know make all the the uh at all whether or not it has arguments when's the next runtime how often do we want it to repeat add the event and then it will show up in the cron events tab now that being said now if you wanted to and let's say you didn't have access to the theme editor or access to your server to get to the functions file you can add a PHP cron event and essentially all your PHP code would be added here and so you know it would uh, obviously it says don't put the opening PHP tag in there but you could put your PHP code in here give it an event name add when it will run and all the uh, reoccurring you know time slots or whatever select select which one you need and then from there your PHP code would run based upon whatever the recurrence is that you chose for it so there are multiple ways to do it you can do a PHP event to where you write the code out in PHP or you can do the add cron event to where you write in the hook but then you add in the code um, in the action over into the functions dot PHP file so that concludes this tutorial I hope that it helps you understand um, how to use WP cron control to schedule uh, content creation updates and just really uh, I mean the sky's the limit with what you can actually do especially knowing you can do the cron event add it to the functions.php file as well as being able to actually write the PHP code here um, you know it, it, as a PHP cron event so let me know if you run into any technical issues challenges along the way like I said I'd love to be able to help you so please leave a comment here below the video um, also please subscribe to the kickstart commerce YouTube channel I drop a tutorial video every Wednesday either at 9 a.m. or uh, 3 p.m. Central Standard Time and so a lot of this will cover some search marketing um, ideas and tips and tricks as well as WordPress tips and tricks and then last but not least I also share domain name strategies that actually help grow your business help you to reach and connect with more customers and then last and finally um, head on over to uh, kickstartcommerce.com um, and then on the right hand side sign up for the daily newsletter where I share um, tips and tricks about the disciplines of digital strategy to help grow your business. So thanks and I look forward to seeing you back here next week.